Hello my little munchkins, my little crones, and my sunflowers. How are you on this fine, fine Monday night? Yep, night. Why? It was a rough day today. What was rough? I wasn't feeling very well. I, I think I'm catching a little cold or something or however. It ain't going to beat me. I plan on beating it. Yeah. This is the cold and flu season anyway coming up, isn't it, babe? Yes, or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're still in the thickets of it. Yeah, it, it, it gets worse for me, you know, because January, yeah. um, you know. So anyway, enough of the blues. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to talk about now is what, baby clone? Real Housewives of Potomac. However, I hope you had a glorious weekend. I really, really do. And I hope you had a good, great Back to Life Monday. Yes, yes, yes. So now, baby clone, take us in. Yes. Well, um, this episode of Real Housewives of Potomac, firstly, Ashley took the ladies to Austin, Texas. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, okay. I think. Why I th there? I think I she know. said that one of her friends was giving a drag performance and so she wanted to take the ladies there. But so they didn't show the performance. No. Okay. Unless we still have more to come. Oh, okay. Okay. okay yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Firstly, um, we were the cast was finishing off the Wendy versus Neca oh. situation, oh. and Gazelle was asking Ashley, "Does she believe Wendy? Does she believe Neca? Like, what is going on?" And the way Ashley puts it is that Neca actually knew about the article before Ashley even brought it up to her. Well, clearly we know that it was something that Wendy knew because the episode started, the season started with Wendy and this religious kick. Yes. We all know, I don't know how you think, you know, I haven't really been following anybody's commentary as of yet, but um, as you see, Wendy, sorry, as you, I'm trying to put this earpiece in my ear. Oh. I'm struggling with it. As you see, Wendy was showing her rosary. Yes. It came on Wendy on the defense. You Wendy baptizing her son. If that doesn't look like guilty, <laughs> I, I don't know what is. Wendy had never shown her spiritual side like that. So it comes on. The season start with this. So this is early on to come. I don't know if this is going to go through the whole season or they got something else brewing. Yes. Because this is good. This is good. Because I like the fact that they got two Nigerians against each other. What did you call it? Yes, the no, battle you, of the Nigerians. However, what I see is Je Wendy is jealous. She is. Wendy didn't want that woman on that show. Mm -mm. You know, at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you what I do know. I used to date a lawyer. Mm-hmm. And what you don't want to do, you don't want to fight with a lawyer. Not with words. Because they're good at tripping you up. And if a lawyer's going to take you down, they can't, they can't prepare. Necker really did. They come prepared. They don't, they don't fight like you and me. Mm -hmm. They don't waste that. This is a court case. And they are bound to win. And so she slayed Wendy. She, she left did. First she left Wendy up prancing about talking about, you jealous, you jealous. It was like, that don't even fit in the moment. No, it doesn't. Now she left Wendy there with a quivering lip like, but and I'm, I'm so glad, you know, I found luxury. I found luxury and watching Candace face like, yes, I found nothing but pure pleasure and mouth almighty and tongue everlasting. Yes. I found nothing but enjoyment and watching the loud mouth get silenced. Yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, first off, speaking of which, Wendy really does believe that NECA is personally attacking her because she was just like, she has no beef with anybody, but when it comes to me, she just wants to start a beef with me. Wendy, she wasn't starting a beef with you, really. You started a beef with her, but that's besides the story. Why do you say that? Because it is Wendy's mom who's... Right. And here goes Wendy still claiming that she doesn't know... Um, NECA, even though NECA proves that you, she called out Lebby, at, which is like the stepsister or like sister-in-law. It's just like really, 
it's like a whole crazy dynamic. She's like, you you invited her to your party. Yet you're saying you don't know me. And she's the one that's calling me, telling me she's that my name's submitted to a shrine. And Wendy was just like, uh, what? She couldn't even fight it. She was just like, yeah, I sure did. And acknowledged her at this event. And that's why Candace was like, Ooh. yeah, yeah, so, it's so um, bad. So, yeah, that was that. I thought that was good. We might hit a little bit on it later. What else happened, yes. baby? Um, NECA and, oh, this this was actually quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So NECA and Ike had went to go. Ike? Yes, her husband. Her husband's name is Ike? Yes. Oh, okay. Very interesting know. name, yes. Ike. Ooh. Yes. They... Scared of the mics. <laughs> but go ahead. Yes, they went to go visit the OBGYN because NECA is trying to get pregnant and she said that she's been trying for seven months and it's not working and really her husband and the doctor who's also nigerian are just laughing it off like oh you just need to have sex more she i didn't like the way the doctor treated her yes and i didn't like because her husband is a doctor your husband is not a gyn and your husband sitting there chuckling and saying we just got to get it in more. I, if I was, if I was mm -hmm. NECA, I would have got up. You would have never humiliated me like that. Yeah. I hate it. You gonna, you gonna team up because he's a doctor mm -hmm. and y'all gonna team up and come up against me and my feminine, femininity. This is why I don't deal with male gynecologists. Mm -hmm. Who the hell you think you are? You're not a woman. You so ins I, if I was neck, I would have got up. Yeah, and walked. That was just inhumane. It really was. I I I and laughing and chuckling mm -hmm. at my expense. Not taking me seriously. <sighs> but yes. see, that's some Nigerian stuff right there. Mm -hmm. See, if you were an American, huh, you about to get sued, Hepa, because you can't do stuff like that. I would have recorded that stuff right there, turned my phone on. Yeah. This is ridiculous. I, I was appalled by that. Yeah. Okay, maybe I wouldn't have done all that. It sounds deep. But I'm just saying that I thought that was horrible. It was very horrible. And if that's how a Nigerian doctor is, thank you. I won't see one. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that. Because, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. If that's the way Africans... Treat their patients, you can have it. And I'm not saying it as a negative. I'm saying it as the way it was shown. And I know they may say, don't judge all doctors. I don't know. It's just the way that the Nigerians are. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. And also, Neku has been pressured from her family to have a child since she has gotten married. How long has she been married? She's been married for years, right? Yes, she said that within the first year that they were married. But that ain't parents, telling me how long she's been married. Yeah, it's definitely more than a year or two. So she hadn't been married for seven years? I don't think so. I don't know how long she's been married. Yes, well, continuing on from that, we here's what I do find interesting. Mm -hmm. Mia and Gordon went to couples therapy. I really enjoyed that. Yes, yes they had a little heart-to-heart. -heart. They got to open up. Mm -hmm. uh, I really do hope that helps their marriage because mm -hmm. they both were just struggling with this whole financial. And that is another thing that that for reasons why couples get a divorce or break up is because finances can be very stressful, as we saw. So it was just great to see them talk through it. The thing that that really was sad about it is the, the man that a part of his family is her husband Nigerian. Or Jamaican or something. Um, 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 what's her name? I can't think of Mia. Mia. Yeah, Gordon. I'm not sure. Gordon. Well, anyway, um, the very fact that he gave them back the money, right? Yes, he did. Did he give it all back or some back or? That I'm not clear on. I'm not on. clear on, but I'm because I really, but at the end of it, he gave the money back and then he deleted himself. Yes. That's a trage tragedy. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I understand where, where, where Mia is. Yeah. Mia to Mia right now, that's like curse money. To Mia, in my mind, maybe I'm See being dr dramatic, but it's like curse money. It's like, I don't want it. 
Somebody gave their life for this. Yeah. Regardless. This, this taking this and Gordon is like, <clears throat> I get Gordon and I get her too. Mm -hmm. Should we suffer? Is Mia saying give the money to the family because they need it more than us? I think that's, I think that's what feed. she's saying. Mm -hmm. And Gordon is like, hell no. We need this money. I work for this money. Yes. This money is, I've been saving for you all. This injustice was done to us. It isn't that Gordon is, is in my opinion, it isn't that Gordon is uh, uh, being selfish. He suffered over this. Yeah, he really he did. He anguished over this. Yes. And I'm sure he said about it, you know? But I'm glad that they're getting counseling for it. And no, Wendy, I think you need the money for your children. If you want to split half, do that. But Gordon ain't don't know. Did he look out for his family? Who looked out for his family? The guy that deleted himself. That I am not sure of. I, mm, that's sad. Yeah, what, uh, me and go into details about that, just how much it has pretty Affected, much traumatized her. Traumatized her. Trauma. I would have been, I know me, and I know you. Mm-hmm. And I know we would have been like Mia. Yes. I don't know because I'm more rational and because I, I have to take care of the finances. So for me, I probably would be devastated. I would probably go into some kind of prayer or, or some kind of meditative prayer for a week or two. I wouldn't do anything with the money until it was clear in my spirit. Yeah, that's good. I would have taken a bath. I would have taken a ritual. I would have meditated. I would have gotten clear. Because at the end of the day, according to Gordon, the money is theirs. Yeah. And if it is my money, however, however, I don't know. Apparently, they talking about money. So I don't know how much it is. But if it's that much, I can give her a million. A million dollars. I have to be honest, in American currency, a million dollars won't take you far. Once upon a time, you could live a lifetime on a million dollars. Yes. Now you buy a decent home, a car, some furniture, your million pretty much gone. Yes. By the time you pay taxes, did to the million, mm -hmm. a million, I'm not frowning on a million dollars, but believe me, a million, when you really get it, yeah. and think the inflation in this country is so high. By the time you get your million, depending on, you know, if you get a million, if you have a million dollar, if you have a million dollars, at least in the state of Maryland, if you have a million dollars, you're not going to want to live in a $250,000 home. Okay. Yeah. No. True. With a million, you're going to want to amp it up to at yes. least a half. Yeah. At least to get some, at least a half. Mm hmm or six, between a half and six, would you agree? Yes. To find something that's suitable, and that ain't even going to be blow you out the water. Am I right? right? It'll put you in a really nice neighborhood, true, right? True. May not give you the, the creme de la creme house or the probably be old or something like that, or it could be new. And if it's mm. new, you want a small parcel. Yes. Am I right? And not so sturdy material as well. Yes. So, and then if you buy a car, you got that money. I'm sure you're not going to buy a, a, a two, two boop boop. I'm thinking you're going to get yourself something nice. Maybe you've been wanting a Mercedes. You don't have to get the Mercedes deluxe. You could just get a regular Mercedes for 60,000. You understand? You want to buy furniture for the house that you have gotten. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it, it's gone. By the time you finish, you may have 200000 left. And look at that. See what I'm saying? But if you really, to me, in my opinion, for normal, $3 million. Okay. Because you could take and do what you need for the first million. Okay. The second million, you can open up a business. Okay. And the third million, put away money. <laughs> That's what I see. Okay. I don't already earn. Yes. I, already, I already know how I'm doing $3 million. <laughs> I claim it. <laughs> yes. You had that one thought out. Yeah. 
I'm sorry, I went off the deep end, but when we start talking about money, I start dreaming. <laughs> no, I'm not going to say I start dreaming. I start having visions. Yes, that's better. So, oh, okay. So when Ashley decided to take the girls to Texas, mm -hmm. they all took separate vans. And I found this really interesting because I love this. She separated the girls by their zodiac sign elements. And Karen felt, not Karen, Rob felt a little slighted because she was just like, why did Ashley put me with Candace and somebody else when she knows I don't like them? Candace is fire. Exactly. That's why you guys were in the same vehicle. Who was in the vehicle with Candace? Um, it was Candace, Robin. Robin? Robin? Yeah, Robin. I think Wendy. Oh, right, right, because when, because one of them is it, funny signs. That's okay. in that, because that, you don't have your phone. No, the one time I didn't bring my phone. That's okay, I have a laptop though. That's why I should always be, she doesn't like to have the laptop there because she feels it takes away from her aesthetics. Yes, she that is true. She feels though it takes <laughs> away from the full view. Yes. Vanity, vanity, <laughs> all is vanity. She's like, no, no. I'm like, if you don't sit that laptop in front of you, it takes away from my beauty, my daughter. Okay, died. so Robin is an Aries. Okay, fire. Yes, we know Candace is a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Let's see, Wendy is, oh, okay, so Wendy wasn't in the car. She's a Gemini. I told you Wendy wasn't in the car. Wendy was with Gazelle. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Right? Yes, let's look. Let's, let's look up Gazelle. Sorry, guys. This is off yes. the cuff. I'm, it really I'm curious. Is. Yes, now that I'm thinking Because we deal about with it. astrology, I, I have to see. Um, but because they all get along, they probably act pretty much the same. Don't say anything. No, Gazelle's a Virgo. So she's air. That's a fire. That's oh, that's earth. earth. That's, I keep yes. getting Virgo mixed up. She's earth. earth. So yes. who was she with? You know, I don't know all of their Zodiac. No, no, no. I'm just trying to figure out how many cars. It would have had to have been four cars for four elements. Fire, earth, air, and water. Okay. I'm going to look back at that. But thank you, yes. baby clone. Yes, that I, was, did I, I didn't. I, I missed that. I don't know. It was a very short did I, did I Did I go get something to drink doing it? Did I get some ice? What, what did I do? I, I'm going to go back and look at that. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, 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 just, it just take up my fancy, even though it was a very short segment. She, she's growing to be an astrologer. So. Yes. Okay. Well, but, babe, Crone, thank you for bringing that. Yes, you're next welcome. Next time you should have had that information more together for us. Yes, you're right. Next time I will. Because <laughs> that was what you love, right? Yes, that is true. Mm -hmm. uh, you did good by, by singling that out. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, Karen, Karen, Karen. Karen Hoogler. Yes. She, what a last name, Hoogler. <laughs> yes. Hoogler. <laughs> <laughs> What's her sign? I'm about to look that up. So I was just like, maybe it was Karen that was with. Karen complained, right? Yes. Nope. Karen is a Taurus. So Ooh. she was with Gazelle. She's with you, baby clone. <laughs> Y'all would get along like a bonfire, right? <laughs> we probably would. That's probably I have a love hate relationship with her. Yeah. But um, I like Karen. Yes. What I she's a troublemaker. Yes. She can be old troublemaker. Yes, she, she can it. old troublemaker self. <laughs> but I like her because she's always well, she doesn't she can hold a grudge, most definitely. But I can say that she to me. What I, and I'm going to say, I, I adore this about her. She is about peace. Even though she's, she's like a friend of me, I, she's in the middle. She can flip on you like a yes. dime if you rub her the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You understand? But what I love about Karen is I think that she is, she shows the maturity of the group, in my okay. opinion. Yes. In other words, I'm not saying she don't do her mess. She's in everybody's uh -uh, business. She could be an old troublemaker. <laughs> but what I am saying is she is always willing to do the godly thing. Okay. And, and I can say that about Gazelle too. I, I like I, that. They do, it, they do it in a different way. Mm -hmm. But I can see that though, that's why those two could always get along. Gazelle is what kind? Gazelle is a Virgo. So she's air. Earth. I had, dang it. 
God, like, and that's my son. I was born in that house. I should know Virgo well, but I keep forgetting that it is earth. Mm -hmm. That's because I'm so much fire that I trip over earth all the time. Earth to me, earth grounds me. Fire enthuse me. <laughs> Water makes me sad. Water makes me think and go inwardly. Fire gets me moving and creative. Earth grounds me, right? Mm -hmm. and, fire, and air excites me. Okay. Go ahead. That's what it does for me. What about you, baby clone? Um, wow. I would honestly have to really think about that. Okay. <laughs> that is something to know. Yeah, that is something so to know. So when you're picking a mate and you find out what their sun sign is. Yes. I mean, that's only half, but at least that's the persona that you're dealing with. So that's a start, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know, let me say this, um, just off of the cuff. Mm -hmm. I think when you starting a relationship and being with someone, I think you should go to an astrologer. I think you should go to an astrologer or a card reader, somebody spiritual that's good, that could tell you, I would do that. If I ever get in, well, I go, I, I don't have to. But what I'm saying, the more I know about these things, just like when something is going wrong with your body, you go to the doctor. When you're dealing in your love life and you're meeting someone, you need to go someone and see because they can help you with the pitfalls mm -hmm. or what you need to work with. I'm just saying that's a tip. You could take it or you can mm -hmm. throw it away because I'm living by it. It makes, it makes, it. I can date five because I already can see this is going to work and this isn't. Yes. Um, although one thing um, about Karen is that she loves to start a little bit of mess. I told you she's yes. she's earthy. She will kick up dust now. She she can. What is she? A Taurus. She kicked that she kicked that dirt. Right. She'll kick that dirt. That bull in her. Because isn't well, that the bull? Yes. Oh yeah. She's stubborn, but yes. she will fight. She's earth. She's yeah. Earth. What happened was is that Ashley had gave Robin. Um, one of the bigger rooms, I think it was the penthouse mm -hmm. and it was cause Robin has been stressed lately. And then the way Karen took it, Karen took a little offense and she said, and I quote, I rather be in my tiny room than be in one I don't deserve. Mm -hmm. So she was saying that she was basically saying that she deserved a bigger room or at least that Robin didn't deserve the bigger room. What's Karen and Robin? I don't know. They're... Here. It's not Robin. No, it's not. It's not Robin. You can say it's the light-skinned bandits. Karen ain't dark herself, okay? Yes. Because Karen, she has this whole pie analogy for Robin, saying that she had half of a, pie, a, a Robin pie in a freezer, and now it's only a quarter in there. No, Robin had to teach her. It's a quarter, Karen. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah. That's how, <laughs> yes, you know, that's because that's Robin is educated, you know. Mm -hmm. Rob Karen didn't go to college, but Robin did. And so she said it would make it a quarter, Karen. And, yeah. and, and, and um, I wouldn't have caught that. And you would have. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if you would have said anything. No. And, um, and, and Gazelle didn't say anything, but Robin did. And so yes. um, Karen went, you could tell she was embarrassed. You could tell she got embarrassed. That's what you call loud and wrong. Okay. Yes. But um that So what does she do with the other quarter? The half she has out, she cut that in half. What is that? It seems to me okay. that Karen wants Robin under her wing. Yes. And and Robin saying, sting me once, shame on you. No, sting me once, shame on me. Sting me twice. Shame on you, because it yes. ain't going to be a third time. Yeah, exactly. That's how, and I like Robin, and I know a lot of people, and I can't be the only one that's saying Robin is my girl. Mm -hmm. I can't be. I can't be. I like Gazelle, but I favor Robin more over Gazelle. Why? Because Gazelle can be a little messy. Okay. But she's not an extreme messy like Candace. Yeah, that is very true. Candace, Candace got the tongue of the devil. She but, really did. But the thing about, and, and, I'm, and I'm being honest, with a tongue like that, she everything she does, she's going to have trouble in everything she does. Why? Because your tongue um, 
it sets off the course of hell. And because every idle word you say out your mouth, you're speaking that all that in the universe. And that's going to boomerang and come back to you. And because gazelle is older than her, there is no respect. This is another thing. No respect. Regardless of what gazelle said or did, mm -hmm. it's time to stop. Yes. With your filthy, foul mouth. Mm-hmm. And it's not the fact that you're using profanity. No. When you're talking about somebody's uterus, mm -hmm. that has to go through something. That's a woman, you idiot. You don't curse that. You are yet to have a baby. Yeah. Whoo, see, you got to be careful flapping them lips. And, and, and what I love, her mother at the beginning yes. told her, she was did. it one season, last, last week or so, yes. told her, Candace, you need to let that go. Uh huh. In other words, why don't your mother just say it's too much? You know, maybe that's how her mother talked, but whatever, mother, you can, you can, you should feel really embarrassed that your daughter have a tongue like that on air. I I just find it offensive, and I'm and I love the way. And I feel as though Candace acts so hard, but I know yes. Sagittarius. Sagittarius are not hard like that. What do you say, baby? Carl? No, no. Um, we don't because we're so spiritual. Yes. We, we 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 yearn for peace and harmony, and we are really humanitarians on the outward. So for Candace to be, and she's the thirteenth, correct? So she's really so. just playing a role. It she's it really. I can understand she's hurt. You know, but you can't be that hurt. She said that your husband did nothing. She just said that's what happened. Yes. That's it. That was it. She didn't say, but in your mind, your filthy mind, you took it there. She told you A, B, and C, Candace. I don't know. He didn't touch me. Mm -hmm. It was just the idea of how it made me feel. Right. And as a woman, you're going to experience that. I claim that for you. So you can understand what, it, what she could have feel, felt like. A lot of times we don't understand because we haven't been through yeah, something. True. And because I know what it's like to be talking to someone and all of a sudden you find yourself feeling insecure. Because you feel the energy and you're feeling insecure. Doesn't mean they did anything. Mm -hmm. You felt insecure. You understand what I'm saying? And I think that's what happened. And even Karen understood it. Everybody understand it. Of course. Not Wendy. Oh, yeah. Why would Wendy? And, and not, and not what you, because that was her. But it's going to happen to her. It'll happen. And she'll begin to understand like, oh. Oh, mm -hmm. so that's how sometimes things happen. But right now you're blindsided by your husband. And I don't care what nobody say. I think your husband can be a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yes. I can see why. Because he have to deal with little motor mouth. I think when you're not around, he probably click his heels three times and turn the circle and go, Wee -ha! hallelujah. <laughs> Away oh. from mouth almighty and tongue everlasting. God <laughs> knows that girl can, whoo, the thing she said. Yeah, I just don't know why he would marry that. Well, I think she probably could, maybe she wasn't as like that. Maybe when they were dating, she would only get like that when, they, when she's angry. Uh -huh. And sometimes you don't see a true person until you marry them or live with them. So did we get it all? Yes, we got it all. Well, we hope we took you around the world. I, 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 I. <laughs> well, anyway, we really enjoyed it. I mean, I'm really bringing, I, I think Potomac is bringing life. I think they're doing wonderful. I'm enjoying it. Every single minute of it, I am. So we hope to see you next week. Is there anything else you want to add nope, that is or take all. away? Mm -hmm. All right, then. Well, we will see you next week with our recap on Potomac. Sunflowers. Sunflowers.